Now, I will be discussing about the design compressive strength of a double angle section. Now, double angle section is oftenly used because uh, many cases appears when the single angle is not capable of taking that much load and also in case of single angle the radius of gyration about the minor axis is very low compared to its x axis or y axis or major axis. Therefore, as radius of gyration is quite low about the minor axis, so strength of the uh, angle section is quite low because it may buckle through its minor axis about its minor axis and uh, because radius of gyration if it is low then slenderness ratio will be high and slenderness ratio high means the design uh, compressive stress will be less and therefore, the design strength of the member will be less. Therefore, uh, with this uh, given uh, load sometimes we go for double angle section. Uh, again double angle section may be placed uh, it is back to back uh, with gusset plate means gusset plate and it is uh, in, in its two side two angle section can be provided or in the same side also uh, in the same side of gusset plate angle section can be provided. So, this is how one can uh, place the angle sections to make double angle section. Now, uh, to know the design strength of the angle section we need to know what is the uh, effective length of the double angles will come into come that is given in clause 7.5.2 right the effective length of double angle start in clause 7.5.2. So, here we can see that the codal provision says that the effective length k l in the plane of end gasset shall be taken as between 0.7 and 0.85 times the distance between the intersections that means, 0.7 to 0.85 times the l depending on the degree of restraint provided. So, depending on the degree of restraint provided the effective length will be considered as 0.7 to 0.85 times the distance between intersection and the effective length k l in the plane perpendicular to that of the end gusset shall be taken as equal to the distance between center of intersection that means, it here k value will be 1. So, this is what the codal provision says. So, when we will be going to calculate the strength of a double angle section we need means we have to follow this codal provision 7.5.2 to find out the effective length and therefore, uh, the radius of uh, sorry slenderness ratio and then compressive stress the allowable compressive stress. Therefore, we have to know the effective length of the double angle section means uh, whether it is according to the um, degree of restraint means whether the length is in the plane perpendicular to that of end gusset or other one. So, uh, angle sections may be provided like this. So, suppose two angle sections I want to provide. Now, that may be possible if I use two angle section on the opposite side of gusset plate. This is one way we can make this is gusset plate right. Otherwise, we can arrange the angle sections as like this also that means, in same side of the gusset plate this will be. So, this is the gusset plate and we are providing two angle section this is ISA some ISA Indian standard angle we can provide right. Also, uh, the two angles can be provided in a in this fashion also however, it depends on the requirement means what type of 
uh, architectural requirement is there depending on that also we can provide such type of double angle section. And also we will see if I provide uh, angle section uh, opposite side to the cassette plate and same side of the cassette plate then what will be the strength that means whether if I arrange in this way strength will be more or if I arrange in this way strength will be more that also we can uh, through one um, workout example we can compare. So, let us go to one example which is given as this that is a discontinuous strut of length 4 meter consists of two unequal ISA a, uh, ISA 100 by 75 by 8 and is connected to a 10 mm gusset plate by its longer leg. So, longer leg is connected to the gusset plate and thickness of gusset plate is 10 mm and size of angle is ISA 100 by 75 by 8. Now, find the strength if it is connected on the opposite side of the gusset plate and same side of gusset plate. So, here we will compare the results using these two orientation one is opposite side of the gasset plate another is same side of the gasset plate and we will see which one is uh, taking more load right. Now, properties of the single angle section can be found from table 4 of SP6 1964 where the cross sectional area is given R x R y R u R v these are given then C x C y and I x I y are given and these are the property which will be required to find out the equivalent properties of the section. Equivalent properties of the section means what is the uh, combined gross area of the section, what will be the um, uh, radius of gyration minimum radius of gyration of the section what will be the uh, CG of the section. So, all these things we can find out from these properties and according to the orientation according to the placement of the um, uh, gusset plate and uh, angle we can find out this strength. Now, let us first come to the case where angles are placed on opposite side of the gasset plate. Of the gasset plate. That means, we can consider that a plate a gasset plate is there and it is in its opposite side one angle is placed with its longer side longer leg and another angle of same size are placed in other side. So, this will be the arrangement this is the gusset plate right. Now, we have to find out the combined property like the area of the double angle say I can say a dash a dash will be 2 into area that means 2 into I got 1 3 3 6. So, this will be 2 6 7 2 millimeter square. Similarly, I can find out the value of R x and R y that means R dash x and R dash y. So, first let us find out R dash x. R dash x when we are going to find out that R dash x means uh, we can find out in this direction this is x x. So, to find out r dash x first I have to find out i x dash that means, moment of inertia about x x direction of the combined section. So, that will be 2 into i x means 2 into moment of inertia of the individual section 
because i x will be in the same in same c g distance uh, c g it will uh, it will buckle. So, i x will be same. So, I can find out r dash x as i x dash by 2 a. So, 2 i x by 2 a that means i x by a that means I can find out sorry this will be square root of this. So, root over i x by a. So, r x that means the r dex r x dash value will become simply r x. So, in this way means in this arrangement if we use then we cannot increase the r x value or r dash x value right. So, r dex value is constant only we can increase the value of r dash y by changing the gusset plate thickness. Now, let us see how the r dash y value is going to be calculated. So, for that we have to calculate first i dash y, i dash y will be i dash y means in this direction. So, i dash y will be i y this is y y i y about this axis plus a r square. So, i y plus a into c y plus t g by 2 whole square right. So, i dash y about this axis will be i y plus a into c y square. C y square means c y plus t g, t g is the thickness of gusset plate. So, if this is the thickness of gusset plate then it will be t g by 2 right and into 2 because 2 angles are there. So, for this also it will be same. So, it will be added. So, i dash y can be found like this right. So, if I calculate the i dash y value I can find this as 2 into 63.3 into 10 to the 4 which is i y value plus a was 1336 into 18.7 plus 10 by 2 uh, thickness of gusset plate is 10. So, 10 by 2 like this. So, i dash y I can find out 276.68 into 10 to the 4 millimeter to the 4. Now, once I calculate i dash y I can find out the value of r dash y also. r dash y will be simply i dash y by a dash. So, here i dash y value we have calculated as 276.68 to 10 to the 4, a dash is basically 2 into a that is 2672, 1336 into 2. So, this is becoming 32.18 millimeter. So, minimum radius of gyration r minimum I have to find out because about which it will buckle. So, that will be minimum of r x dash and r y dash right. So, minimum if we see it will be 31.4 millimeter right. This radius, uh, radius of gyration minimum radius of gyration we could uh, found we could find as 31.4 millimeter. Now, L e value the effective length L e can be found as 0.85 L. So, this will be 0.85 into it was 4 meter. So, this is 3.4 meter. So, as per clause 7.5.2.1 I can find out the value of effective length as 0.85 into L that is 3.4 meter. 
So, now I can find out the value of cylindrical ratio. So, lambda cylindrical ratio I can find out L by R minimum that will be become 3.4 into 1000 to make it millimeter by 31.4 this is becoming 108.28 right and this is less than 180. So, it is ok as per table 3 it should be less than the permissible cylinder ratio. So, lambda value the cylinder ratio value we can find as 108.28. Now, for angle section or for built up section we know buckling class will be C. Buckling class of the section will be C from table 10 we can find out. From table 10 I can find out the buckling class as table C and then I can find out the value of F C D. Now, if we use table 9 C, table 9 C to find out value of F C D. F C D either I can find out from the formula which are expressed in the code, otherwise I can find the value from table 9 C table 9 uh, uh, has been given to find out the value means for different value of cylinder ratio F C D value has been given for different grade of steel. So, this F C D value are given in table 9 A B C D for class A B C D. Now, as this is the uh, class C buckling class C. So, we are using table 9 C directly and if we use table 9 C we can see that F C D value will be 107 minus 107 minus 94.6 by 10 into 8.28. This 107 is correspond to 100 lambda 100 and this correspondent to lambda as 110. For lambda 110, this is 94.6 and for lambda 100, it is 107. So, if I interpolate for 108.28, I can find out the value of FCD as 96.73 MPN. So, FCD value can be found from table 9 C as 96.73 MPA. Now, the strength design strength of the member now I can find out that will be A E into F C D. So, if I put those value of A E and into F C D A E is 2672 which is the area of two angle section into 96.73 is the F C D value. So, this will become 258.46 kilometer right. So, design strength of the member can be found as 258.46 kilonewton. Now, let us come to the second case. Second case is angle placed on same side of the gasset plate, same side of the gasset plate. So, if we use same side of the gusset plate, then it will be something like this say this is gusset plate and angle is connected through the same side of the gusset plate like this right. So, so for this case several things will be similar like A dash the gross area of the combined section will be same that will be 2672 and here R dash Y will be same 21.8 which was considered earlier R dash Y means 
along this because r dash y r y of the single section whatever it is coming r dash y will be same because the c g is not going to be changed, but r dash x will be going to change. So, we have to calculate the value of r dash x to find out r dash x I have to find out i dash x i dash x will be 2 i x plus a into c x square. So, if I put the value of i x as 131.6 into 10 to the 4 plus 1336 into c x square is 31 square. So, i x means i dash x value is becoming 519.98 into 10 to the 4 millimeter to the 4. So, moment of inertia of the gross section about x x direction I am getting as this. Now, r dash x can be found that will be i x dash by a dash i x dash we got as 519.98 into 10 to the 4 by a dash is 2672. So, after calculating the value is coming 44.11 right. So, now I can find out the value of r minimum. So, r minimum will be the minimum of r x dash and r y dash. So, this is becoming 21.8 mm right. Now, if we remember in earlier case r minimum was the r x and here r minimum is the r y right. Now, let us come to effective length. So, effective length will be same for this case also l u will be 0.85 l. So, 3.4 meter and lambda I can find out cylinderness ratio as L e by r, r means r minimum. So, this will become 3.4 into 10 cube to make it millimeter by r minimum is 21.8. So, this is becoming 155.96 Newton per millimeter square which is less than 180. Right. So, this is ok from cylinder ratio point of view it is ok. Now, this will be buckling class C as similar to earlier case and we can use table 9 C of IS 800 then I can find out the value of FCD as 59.2 minus 59.2 minus 53.3 by 10 into 5.96. So, this I can find as 55.68 MPa. Here, here the value 59.2 is coming for lambda is equal to 150 and 53.3 is coming for lambda is equal to 160. So, we are interpolating between 150 and 160 to find the value of F C D at a lambda of 155.96, which we are getting as this. So, the design strength I can find out P D as A E will be same 2672 into F C D value is 55.68, this is coming 148.78. 7 8 kilometer right. So, what we could see that for first case when opposite sides of the gusset plate uh, angles are placed opposite side to gusset plate we got 258.46 kilo newton and for second case we are getting 148.78 kilometer. This is 
when angles are placed opposite side of the gasser plate here angles are placed same side of the gasset plate. So, this is the difference right. So, what we could see for the same angle if it is placed opposite side to the gasset plate its strength is quite high compared to this that means, we will try to prefer always the angles to be placed opposite side of the gasset plate. So, that the uh, strength can be achieved more compared to the earlier case uh, I mean other case other case means when angles are placed same side of the gasset plate right. So, with this I like to uh, conclude today's lecture thank you.